So we found a secret drug lab or something and we did something and solved something and our quest updated and things happened and I've no idea what but hey this game has great graphics so who cares about building a coherent world and quest lines and backstory and uh anyway we're back at our apartment we have we have to uh, we have to meet Sarif right because we have all these new augs installed in, installed in us and apparently we have to find out why find out why Sarif did it and look look at this bullshit man uh, if we check our diary here can you believe this 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 is the way this is the way Adam Jensen talks himself in his diary. Talk about a routine repair job gone awry. <laughs> really? That's that's how you try to tell me that Adam would write to himself in his diary. The guy, you know, Mister Mister. Uh, uh, I never asked for this. Mister Gruff Voice Protagonist has this. Talk about a routine repair job gone awry! Exclamation mark. This this isn't this. Who is this? Who is this imposter? Anyway. Right. Disembodied voice. I'm home. Where's my welcome home message? Where's my message? Why can't we look at that? Wasn't that a little home computer before? Why can't we look? Why can't we look at that? What the fuck? That I'm, I'm, am I? I feel like I'm going crazy playing this game. This was a home computer before, wasn't it? And we could lock our door and open the stash. Am I, uh, uh, guys, I've been. Or was it this? Was it this we used for it? No. Oh, maybe it was this. Yeah, it was this, wasn't it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. I guess it didn't do anything. Alright. Alright. Has anything changed in here? Apparently we're still doing washing. It's the longest, the longest wash cycle in the world. Oh wow, can we get outside? No way. <laughs> oh, this is cool. You think these guys guarding the building would have heard about Dragomir being dead by now? Dragomir. We've been along that alley. Yeah, we have, yeah. Alright, nothing really here. Hello? Yeah, that's the Adasra apartment. I don't think we can get into that one. Maybe we can. Can we survive that fall? Uh, let's find out, I guess. Fuck. Wait. How do we actually get back inside? How do we get back inside? What the fuck? How? None of these windows are even open! How do I... How do I get down from here now? 
Are you serious, man? That's where we came out of. There's the open one. How the fuck? Oh, jeez. Right. Well, all the way back down. Let's try and make sure we don't die. Right. Now, I'm not editing out this run back to our apartment. I ain't, I ain't going to edit that shit out because if I have to go through this pain, you are fucking well going to suffer through it with me, man. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care if you're bored. Watch me run back here. I'm bored too. Right, there we go. Oh, man, like... There we go. Why? Like, why? Why not just add a little point where we could climb back in through the window? Go out and explore and then climb back in. Why? Right, let's turn on the telly. Indeed. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. This is Eliza Kassan, reporting to you live from Picus. Wink. How do I... How do I use this? There we go, call Sarif. Adam, what's going on? I didn't expect to hear from you. I didn't expect my doctor to find dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test dogs spliced God. into my system. <laughs> Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? <laughs> God, you've got a Titan dog? That's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DOD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. Looked like a fucking Muppet. Holy crap, man. Right. Uh, yeah, who's Vadim Orlov? Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were uh, sketchy at times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? <laughs> the woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Okay, sure. Sure, whatever. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy. They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. All right. So, Sarif doesn't know anything about these Augs. Apparently everything they did was above board, even though, you know, they did practically uh, refit our whole body with augments. But then, you know, I guess we were on the brink of death, you know, we probably... It was probably sort of a Mass Effect 2 sort of thing. They really had to install so many augments or we wouldn't have even had a body. I've got to find this guy. Adam. Let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon, but I can make phone calls, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. 
When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Alaska? Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. What? <laughs> My god, son, you don't think... Don't call me son. I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. Oh, so maybe we had these augments installed after the events of the first game. I guess that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, it's quite convenient, really. That we, uh... That Panchea blew up and we have no memory of it. It's quite convenient that we have that little time to get new augments installed for the second game. Alright, uh, before we before we move on, I want to have another look around these apartment buildings because there were a few places we could not gain access to. Hello! Uh, a few places that were sort of hacking uh, level 4, 5, that kind of thing above where we were before. So now, we can get into these. Alright, uh, so we need that and we need that. We can get that by going this way, but we've got a couple of fives to go through. Uh, that's going to be tricky. Is that? That's a directory. That's a data store. So we want that. We want the data store. How do we get there? That way. And then. Yeah, okay. Oh, come on. You. Trace program initiated. Oh boy. Thirty percent chance. That's better. Right, so we need yeah, we need this and we need this and we need this. Oh no, crap, no. Gone the wrong way. Gone the wrong way. Do we have time? I think so. Access denied. Oh come on. Right, this was that uh, weird place, wasn't it? Ooh, didn't see those before. Void which binds. Is that duct tape? What a waste of duct tape. Right, is that enough time? Why do we have three attempts left? Have we already tried it twice? Do our attempts just reset? Seems kind of strange. We got it now. Anomaly detected. There we go. Access granted. Alright, this is from... The user of this address has blocked all incoming messages from your IP. Uh, we've sent it to Joseph Severn, or it's... Wait. This is, this is Joseph... This is Joseph Severn's workstation. So this is been sent ah no he's written this to someone and they've blocked his IP so the message is just pinged back okay so Joseph says Eric is it true I tried to access the CC computer but I couldn't log on and now I'm being told that I'm no longer welcome in the church I know mother was upset when I spoke with her about my concerns but excommunication I'm stunned speechless I'm not simply having a crisis of faith, for heaven's sake. She accused me of kotoing to the doubts of the flesh flawed, but I still believe. I changed my life completely so you would see that, so I could help you build what we need. I'm 100% committed to Mother and the Ascension. 
but something literally didn't add up when I reviewed my latest calculations. Surely you must understand that this isn't something we can just hope goes well. If the data is truly showing me that I've made a mistake somewhere, then I need a little more time to be sure the Ascension will go ahead without something dreadful happening to her brothers and sisters. Please, give me some news. Joseph. Alright. So what's this Ascension? Who's the mother? It's Joseph. Seems like a pretty uh, legitimate guy, isn't he? He's just one of those guys that you know, just wants to be sure we're going the right way. Wants to be sure that uh, we've got all the calculations right, that things are going to go as planned. That seems pretty reasonable. And he got excommunicated for that. Yeah, that seems like a bit of a, a bit of overkill. Has he been made an example of? So, uh... Joseph writes to Eric uh, again. This is another one that's just pinged back. Uh, I was wrong. Eric, I know you're reading these. I was wrong and I can see that now. Why is everyone ignoring me and shutting me out? I just want everything to be right. I overreacted with my pre-activation checks. Mother was probably right, but it's more of a crisis of science than faith, Eric. It was just my head playing tricks on me, but it's certainly clearer to me now than ever. Of course it will work. I don't know why I was questioning it. Yeah, this is classic. Classic manipulation here. The authority, the authority tells him that it will work. And he's uh, rewired his mind to believe it, to make it so. 2 plus 2 equals 5. I mean, if the code self regulates itself for a long enough period across all procedures, then I may just be inventing ghosts in the data where there are none. Ghosts in the machine. I just need a few hours to run some preliminaries and maybe spin the collector's core to half power. If it stays within range and doesn't exhibit critical dissonance or vibrations, then we can go ahead as soon as Mother wishes. Please, let me come back and leave with my brothers and sisters. I can only imagine how wonderful it will be when we're one with everything. I hope to hear from you soon. Oh, Joseph, you poor lad. You poor lad, he's been cast out. Been cast out. This is, this, this is, this is how uh, desperate some people are to be validated. How desperate some people are to belong to a group. It's a very, very powerful human urge to belong to a group. Very powerful, and a lot of people exploit that. Hopefully we're going to get a good quest line out of uh, something in this, this church. Uh, the church, the, uh, what, the, the machine god, those people outside in the uh, in the close, the ones who are preaching. Hopefully, we're going to get a good quest line out of this. Okay, so the ascension. Let me leave with my brothers and sisters. So something's going on. Now which one is Joseph? See the guy on the bed. Yeah. I wonder why he's sick. Well, <laughs> we can't ask this guy. Alright, very interesting. I wonder if this is something to do with the Ascension. Technological consciousness through electric current. Oh, are they trying to upload their upload their consciousness to a machine, something like that. Alright. Moving on, uh, that apartment's shut, it's closed. Do we have anything down here? Was this the vendor? Ah. The crazy cat lady.
I've been uh, assured that we'll be coming back here. Or something which has me intrigued. Maybe we can find something out here. Daria Miska. This is a four. Right, we have no choice but to go this way. Stick with the one for right now. Anomaly detected. Fuck, man. Trace program initiated. Another five. Jeez. How did we get caught on a one? Seriously. Fifteen percent. Better. Right, grab this. I think we can do two fives in fifteen seconds. Oh, and now we don't get caught in the five. Great. Right, we got it. Could go that way and see what else there is. If we get this without being detected, I'll check that way. Maybe we can get a data store. Uh, not that way. Another five. Yes, nice. Whoops. Right, here we go. Plenty time, plenty time. Shit, that just changed to a five, but I think we still got time. Access granted. Great. Uh, credits. Well, that'll do. From Catatonic to D. Maiska. Fellow cat lovers, the murder of yet another of our own has created a terrible emptiness inside me. First Leone, and now this. The world is a broken milk bowl that can never be filled again. We have no choice but to cancel our classes pending the police investigation. I encourage you to cuddle up to your loved ones and stay safe. Remember, I'm a mouse click away if anyone needs me. Meow meow. From catatonic. <laughs> Get it? Get it? <laughs> catatonic? <laughs> Cats? <laughs> First Leone. And now this. A murder of yet another of our own. Cancel our classes. Is it like cat training classes? Okay. Interesting. Interesting. I don't think there was anything else of note here, was there? She seems like a fairly normal person. You know, minus all the weird cat stuff. She sure likes cats. We went through that, didn't we? Whoops. To buy new cat. Cat food, cat litter, cat toy, cat nip, cat poster, new cat. Murder of one of our own. Are the cats being murdered? Is there a cat killer? Why can't we knock this guy out? Please leave me alone. No. Come on. Oh well. Right, what have you been up to, Oliver Berthelot? Grab the one first. Grab all these to see where we're at. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Let's just get this way. Oh crap, no. Uh 
I made a huge mistake. That was very strange. How do we? Can't go that way. Did we get that four? Anomaly detected. That four takes us to there. Maybe I can just get the three and then get this. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. Access granted. We got 150 XP. Okay, cool. Right. Uh, Oliver says. Oh, Olivier. Olivier says to Angel Fire about Christelle. Uh, Mary, I'm worried about Christelle. She's been hopeful to move out of Prague with Tom, but they were having trouble at the permit office. Oh. I have to half apologise that I never told you, but Christelle didn't seem to want you to know, and let's be honest, we've not been in touch much since you joined Rucker's ARC movement thing. Either way, she's been frustrated with the entire process until yesterday, when she told me that she'd met a man called Bruno, who said he knew you and that, and that, and that you asked him to help. He's apparently using a truck to take people out of Prague past the checkpoints. I told her to stop rushing into things and come to talk to me about this before doing anything rash, but that was over 24 hours ago since she was supposed to see me, and I'm sick with worry. I'm about to file a report with the police, but I wanted to ask if you know anything about this, or is she lying to me? Alright, Christelle wants to move out of Prague with Tom. Uh, but they're having trouble with getting permits. And now she's gone. Okay. Fuck you. Try to use my arrow keys to scroll through the message, and instead of scrolling through the message, it scrolls between the messages. Olivier, listen to me carefully, mate. Yes, I do know this man, but for none of the reasons you might think, he's a Diwali thug. Christelle is in grave danger. You must try and reach her as quickly as possible. Check friends or places she likes to hang out. Anything. If she gets on that truck, we'll never see her again. I thought I'd clean my past up with those scum, but it seems they've gone after the one thing I have no control over. I'm so sorry. There's no time to explain more now. I need to think, come up with a plan, find somewhere near the red light district. I need to think, come up with a plan, and find somewhere near the red light district. I promise you I'll sort this one way or another, Olivier. I know it's difficult, but trust me, I'll be in touch soon. Yes, I'll be in touch as soon as I get this place near the red light district where I've had my way with many of the prozies in that area. And after I've had my fun, then I'll be back in touch with you. Bruno, Bruno's the valley, okay? From Crescente, right, this is Christelle, isn't it? Uh, so, Christelle says, Hey daddy, good news, you don't... What is it? Is this is it her is it her dad or is this like a weird sexual thing? Good news, you don't need to worry about me anymore. Tom and I are finally leaving the city. Someone named Bruno has said he can help. He knows someone at the permit office and he says that my mother got in touch with him and asked if he could help get me out of Prague. Aha. Why did you tell her I was leaving? I thought we agreed not to. Anyway, Bruno has a truck, and he uses it to take people out of the city and go wherever they want. If you talk to Mother, tell her thanks, I suppose. Maybe I'll get in touch with her sometime. I don't know. Aha! Mary is Christelle's mother, and uh, Olivier's uh, ex-partner, I suppose. Uh, let's just, this might make a bit more sense once we read this now. I have to apologise, I never told you, but... Christelle didn't want to tell her mom that she was leaving, and uh, yeah, Mary joined Rucker's Ark movement and they haven't talked much. Okay, and yeah, Bruno's, sorry, uh, Olivier sent this message to Mary because apparently 
Mary had told Bruno to, that, that she, she knew her. Uh, and Olivier says, yeah, our daughter's in grave danger. Uh, so maybe maybe it's like a sex trafficking thing. They're going to end up near the red light district. They're going to end up being being used in the in the brothels there. Maybe that's why she has to go to the red light district. I don't know. Uh, Christelle, slow down a moment before climbing into a truck with a complete stranger. Whether your mother knows him or not, come see me tonight so we can talk about this. I don't want to worry you, but I need to give you some news about the apartment too. I'll clean up and make goulash like the old times. Your favourite. Where are you now? With Tom? You can invite him too if you want. Oh daddy, Tom will be with me. Stop worrying all the time. I'll come and see you tonight, but only because I can't resist goulash! Double exclamation mark! I'm still doing this. It was you that told me to take responsibility, so here goes. X dot X. Christelle's made a huge mistake, it appears. That's why this guy is in such a mess. But we can't Please leave me alone. Like why can't we talk to him? Like we're 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 an ex cop. We we solve people's problems. We've just read his private emails. Found out his daughter's missing. You think we should be able to say Hey mate, look, I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I did some, I did some snooping. I'm sorry I went behind your back, but look, look, I know your daughter's missing. I have a special set of skills. I think I can find her. Why can't we do that? He's clearly, clearly, clearly in stress. This is the most convincing, uh, body language, the most convincing character I've seen yet in this game. And we can't say, dude, what's up? Dude, I can help. This is crazy. This is crazy. So that's, is that Christelle there? Because I, I assumed he was, uh, Sort of obsessed with her, but I think he's just a he's just a family man, isn't he? And that's probably Christelle and Tom. In that one. I guess. That's probably Christelle's bed. Why would she have pictures of herself in her bed? That seems kinda weird. Why does Christelle have these pictures there? That's probably her luggage, that's probably what she was going to leave leave Prague with. That explains why he's got the handbag here. Shut up! Fuck's sake. Okay, well, for some reason, we can't talk to this guy. Ooh, ooh, we did not see this. You've been holding out on me. Yoink. He doesn't mind us stealing from his apartment. Okay. Okay, well we'll just leave him with his pain. I suppose. I thought they were maybe going to be involved with uh... What's her name again? Uh, Mar... I forgot her name. I've got it written down somewhere. What, what's her name? The, uh, the woman who... Who's, uh, kidnapped. Kidnapped in inverted commas. Got what her name is. Where is she? Arlena? Thought maybe, uh, Edward and Arenka is who we're looking for. No. Right, was we'll man. He'll set you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll stay away from them. I think. Uh, I think we can get into this apartment now. So let's do it. Do you despair 
It's only a three. Good. Right. Well, which way do we go? Well, we have to take all of them, I suppose. So let's do it. Uh, let's just grab all these. Anomaly detected. Let's get out of here. Plenty of time. Access granted. We got a data scan software. Cool. Right. So who would live in a shithole like this? Oh my god, it's massive! Fucking Eliza Kazan. Wink! Well, they seem like a pretty normal person. Ah, stool knocked over, plate smashed. There's been some kind of disturbance here. Wet stains on the floor. Is that rainbow? I think that rainbow has something to do with uh, the, the drugs. Wap. Check that out in a second. So this is someone, uh, someone with children. You don't, d what? Is it, what's the graffiti? Is that supposed to be the children drawing on the walls? Because children don't, don't draw stuff like that. Someone with two kids, guess. A handbag there, so. Uh, mother with two kids. Look at that. Cute little stools for the kids to sit at, probably do their homework. That's why are there sports magazines on it? Like, that. That one. That one doesn't seem appropriate for children, does it? They got a lot of those red ballet shoes. They must be very popular. Okay. Apparently the, this, the, is that? Apparently the bath and the toilet are vampires. Because they don't have a reflection. Alright, yeah, let's do some snooping here. Let's see what... Teresa, Teresa Petrouskas. Oh fuck! Why is that familiar again? Uh, Teresa. Who was Teresa? What to get to that data store? What's the best way? We have to go this way anyway. We have to go that way. Why don't we go this way and get those zeros? Probably going to be. Four's going to be faster. Let's do the four right at the end. We'll just go down that way. Grab these, get the data score, do the four. There we go, that'll do us. Grab that. Plenty of time. There we are. What do we get XP? Cool. Right, Teresa. Um... Whoa. Why? 
This it doesn't the scroll wheel just doesn't work sometimes in the menus. I don't know why. Oh. Right, anyway. Uh, so Teresa writes to Hermanus about Yulia. Uh, Hermanus, I love you and I want nothing more in this world than to see you both again, but we cannot abandon what we are doing. Even if we decided that we must focus on our own family first, if I were to join you in Utilek, how would Yulia get the medication she needs? It can only come from out here and so I must stay. And you and Mr. Galwa must come to some sort of arrangement. Whatever the cost, we must put our daughter first. My love. You are right. I am so sorry to make things more difficult for you, mate. It's just that I miss you so much. Not a day goes by when Yulia does not ask when she can see you again. And she cries when I try to explain why I do not know. Life in this place is difficult, but at least I have my daughter with me. I cannot imagine what you're going through. We are both very proud of your sacrifice. Thank you for your love and your strength. So this is where Teresa lives. Alone. Wants to see them both again. If I were to join you in Utilek, how would Yulia get the medication she needs? So she's here to get the medication and then she sends it on to Hermanus, I guess. Why Why is Hermanus... Who's this Mr. Galwa? Right, uh, what do we have here? Mrs. Petrauskas. I wanted to write to you personally to say thank you a million times for the help you send. I do not know how you manage to get these packages through the checkpoints, particularly with the neuropazine in them, but everyone here is very grateful for what you do. The blankets probably saved a few children's lives during the sudden frost we had. I have met your daughter and she is beautiful. I pray for your family every night and I hope the police will not catch you. Ah, this is from Sam Tanari. He sent this to Hermanus saying thanks for the aid. I'd be most grateful if you would forward this on to your wife on my behalf. And Hermanus says you should know that your efforts are worthwhile. Right, so that's why she's here. Teresa. Is Teresa the one who owns the the bar? Is she the one who owns the bar with the uh the 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 uh sort of performance area downstairs? Uh, so Teresa smuggling packages through the checkpoints with neuropazine. So that's what that's what Yulia needs the neuropazine then. From Amanda Bakel. Hi, I saw you through the window and you looked familiar. So I looked you up on the bar's website. Are you the same Teresa Petrauskas who was with the enhanced check dancers? You guys were amazing. I saw you every chance I could get and I was really sad when they shut you down. That's all I wanted to say. Thanks for the great memories. I mean natural, by the way. Ah. Yeah, Teresa must work in the bar. So, someone was walking past the bar, looked in the window, saw Teresa, thought she looked familiar, looked at the bar's website, obviously got Teresa's email address from that, and got her name, sent this message here. I mean natural by the way. Why, why would she need to say that? That's the thing, that's when your group identity becomes so strong that you just, you just have to tell people. You have to let people know how strong your group identity is. Add the Pikel. Okay. This is where the uh, the bar the bar owner lives. Okay. And these were Julia's bunk beds? Although why would she have bunk beds? Why would not she just have one bed? And I guess these are like yeah, these are their Bali shoes, aren't they? That's what these posters are all about. That's kind of cool, that makes sense. These are maybe ballets that she performed in. 
Why would you have why would you have two posters up of the same thing? Right, what do we have through here? We got a way down there. That's it. Okay. This is a storage unit we couldn't get in before. Right, from uh, Eugene, no, to Eugene, from Klein. Eugene, here's what I could get for you. Various medical supplies as requested. Inventory list is in the container. Includes viral type biomaterial from our BSL-2 stock, so take standard precautions when handling it. No, I wasn't comfortable acquiring the chemical reagents you suggested on the list, so you have to improvise with whatever you have, sorry. It wasn't technically any spare, and I'm walking a fine line as it is. You'll have to let me know how the test comes out. Keep me informed and good luck, Arnold. Arnold Klein and Eugene Wise. Uh, yeah, why does Eugene want medical stock? We get in this one now. Oh yeah, we can. All right. Why don't we just go and get that? Are there any data stores? Go. Can we get that? I'll go the long way around. Oh, come on, man! On the very first one, fifteen percent. Come on. These are all zero percent. Probably would have been quicker getting the two greens actually, but Yeah, it's fine. Access granted. Rise up. Could this be Joseph's? Or weapons briefcase. Huh. Very nice. Joseph's a hacker, maybe. All right, we're not done here yet. There's a few more apartments to look through. That's Teresa's. We've got this one to look in. This was uh This had something to do with that Neo Knights quest. Something to do with the uh what do they call it? The Rainbow Road. Yeah, got a leader on whoever's distributing behind our backs. Apartment 202. So we'll have to go there. Ah, uh, so we probably would have went to this apartment in the sister district. And they probably would have told us where the drug drug lab was, I guess. Wherever they got this shit from, it's not from us. So they're they're creating their own drug lab, I guess. Got word from Charnabog. Okay. Roman Bruslov. Roman has it. Numbers you're pulling, don't freak. Where's the extra neon coming from? Yeah. The valley have a lock in production now that they've secured the lab. Wait, that lab we were in, that was guarded by the Valley thugs, wasn't it? So that... That was their lab. So if that was their lab, where are... Apartment 202 getting the drugs from? Maybe there's someone in that lab who was stealing it, I don't know. I don't know, hopefully we'll get a bit more closure about that. Who was this? 
Just a thug. Who was this? My wife is going to kill me. Hug. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Not much. Not much information here, that's for sure. So I think that, that clears out our... Ooh, look at that. Nine credits. I would have missed that. I think that clears out everything here. Where are we? Let's get outside and look at the map. I think that's it, isn't it? There's a... Uh, what's that? Confront Sarif. We did that. Uh, Sarif... If I want answers, I have to... F why isn't... Why is this ticked off but still a side mission? We confronted Sarif in my apartment. Oh well. Is that broken? Because did he not say we don't have to talk to someone else now? This uh, uh, Russian guy, can't remember what his name was. Calibrator, right? We've got to find Botchel Botkvelli. So everything else I think we have to do is in the Serta district. I think. I don't know. Don't know where Edward and Arenka are. Let's maybe activate that one and see if we can see if we can find them. Are they actually here. I think so. Vincent van Og. The art gallery. Was there someone downstairs here? We were machines, sir. But terror and pain have turned us into souls. There is something struggling within. Moments when something enters into us. Thoughts come upon us which are not of us. We feel what we did not used to feel. We hear voices teach us to have children so that we may love them. Primus, is that you? Are you a rank of Bauer? Who are you? Please take whatever you want. Just leave us alone. I didn't come here to take anything. You haven't? Arenka, she gets very scared. Whatever you've come to tell her, you should first tell me. I... I am the robot, Helena. Arenka is not well. We must shield her. Irenka paid someone to make her an odd permit. To keep her from being taken to Gollum City. That someone wants to come through. Really? If, if that's true, she'll be... We'll be very happy. If we can stay in Prague, maybe they'll even... There was once a great play that predicted so much. Robots, revolutions, the future of mankind. She memorized all of it. Short circuit it's too. Way. It's my way of trying to understand. I'll take your word for it. Here, this permit is good enough to fool anyone who takes a look at it. Does... Does this mean I don't have to hide anymore? It's not that simple. You're still in danger. The permit needs to be activated. Otherwise, a routine scan will mark you for Gollum just the same. I don't understand. Sorry. There's no legal way for you to stay here. You should prepare for the worst. Uh, I... Uh, we don't know how to prepare. I'll take care of the activation. Just keep a low profile until I can get it sorted out. Thank you. We appreciate it. Okay. 
And yeah, it was the art gallery that had the performance place underneath. The bar had the uh, stock room, the storeroom underneath that we broke into. How did we know? How did we know Arenka was here? Like, I only knew she was here because we activated the, uh, we activated the quest marker. Could it not have said, you know, meet uh, uh, Edward and Arenka. Uh, Arenka is, um, Arenka takes part in plays and she might be in the art gallery, something like that. Would it be that hard just to drop a little line? You know, a little word here to say that. Uh, Milena, I think is her name, uh, the one who was kidnapped, could have been added in a line there, just to have said Arenka, you know, Arenka could be around the art gallery. I mean, obviously that costs a bit more money to have Milena say it, because that has to be, they have to get in a voice actor to say it, so I could understand them not putting the dialogue in there. I, I get that. Um, but they could have at least told us there, because I, I wouldn't have ever came back to this place if it wasn't for activating that quest marker. I don't know, man. It's, it's almost like, it's almost like an insult to your intelligence, isn't it? That they just put a quest marker here rather than, rather than giving us a clue about where, about where she might be. And yeah, so she's, she's got some kind of body dysmorphia thing, some kind of split personality thing, doesn't she? A world where everyone's treated fairly. Huh. And I thought Helena was the one in a science fiction. So now she's, now that's a Renko that we're talking to, not Helena. Like, that's quite an interesting idea. I hope we'll find out more about her split personality, but somehow, I don't think so.